Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to work with DocuSign connector into Power Automate, where we are going to send the document for the digital signature capturing. And then once it's signed, we'll store that signed document into SharePoint library. So we are going to divide this entire video in two parts where one part would be a DocuSign request where we are going to create the template to collect the or to capture the signature from the recipient. And uh, via Power Automate itself, we are going to create those uh, envelope and using that template and then once the document is signed by the intended party then store that document to the SharePoint library back. So right now I have just opened one of my SharePoint site where I have created one vendor contract list. So we are going to take an example of vendor contracts where the standard contracts are needs to be signed by the vendor point of contact person and once signed it should be again uh, get back to the SharePoint library in a signed form in a signed PDF document. This is just a normal list I'm having this title and vendor point of contact it's a person uh, group field so that we can capture the display name and the email ID of this vendor point of contact and now I am just going to DocuSign site so I'll just say stay logged in so I have created my trial account over here because I can abuse my company's one for this damn video so uh, I have just created one trial one and I'll show you like how you can create the templates of contracts and ha have them stored in the DocuSign and then in turn leverage them into Power Automate to create the end-to-end -end, uh, this capturing digital signature capturing workflow. So we'll just start with creation of template and why we need templates because like a general set of document for example vendor contract so these are uh, terms and condition doesn't change much so for uh, party to party so that's why like we want to create a one standard template so that that uh, standard template document file will be uh, sent to the recipient for the digital signature and in turn these templates are would be used into our power automate to actually create or start that approval process or sign process so i'm just starting with uh, template so i'll just create a template and in this template i'll use a template name as vendor contract and in template description i'll just leave that as is and in the contract i'll just upload one of the sample contract which i have created uh, into my local system and under this i'll just add these standard recipients uh, let me just create a role vendor role and in the name, I'll just uh, use the test name for a while because it can be changed while using this template. And in uh, another recipient, if you wish to, like you can add. But uh, over here, like uh, from this drop down, I'll be just saying that needs to sign. So I'll just capture the digital signature, nothing more than that. And in message, you can add message. Uh, this by default complete the docu with DocuSign contract confidential undertaking. So these are picking from my last template. So I'll just say vendor contract and in the entire message you can put up your own and I'll just say next it will just create this template for me and in the template I'll just uh, need uh, two fields to over here so that it can be uh, there so this by default one field is signature because it's a uh, signature we uh, would like to capture on this document and the other one is date sign so that's a uh, today's date by default so I'll just save and close this template And now this vendor contract template has been created. Now we are going to Power Automate site. So I'll just create one Power Automate and I'll trigger that Power Automate once, once I create this entry into this contract list. So this list can be, uh, I mean, having multiple custom uh, attributes for you. Like if you wish to uh, have more details around this contract, otherwise I've just kept uh, just two simple fields so that I can trigger my flow. So I'll just say instant cloud flow and to the trigger I'll say when item is created into SharePoint list and over here I'll just select my site and list name and the contract list and once this uh, item is created I just need to find my DocuSign connector and over here, so once you are doing that for the first time, you will be prompt to use your uh, email address, like uh, whatever account you wish to like work with DocuSign. So right now, because I have this uh, connector established with my name, so that's why it's not picking up, uh, it's not uh, giving that pop-up uh, which account to use, but otherwise it will give your, your account name. You can add that. 
and in this actions as i said like we wish to use the template which we just created into docusign so i'll just use this action create envelope using template and which account to bind so it will give me all the accounts and right now if i just go to the template i have these two templates i'll just pick this vendor contract template and envelope status i wish to like send it for the approval so that's why i'm just uh, sending it over here in the vendor role name uh, you can put up uh, the dynamic field uh, dynamic value so we'll be just finding the vendor display name from this field and vendor email so that it can pick send the email to this recipient the point of contact and once it's done it will be just saved like it's a two step flow item created it should send out one email to the recipients with that template so that person or the vendor can sign the document so this is the first part of it i'll just say send a vendor contract for signature so this is just one piece and saving it and we'll just test it i'll open my outlook as well so that we can see like uh, what sort of email we get let me open that and to test it i'll just create one test entry vendor contract one and point of contact i'll just put myself and save it and we'll just wait for that flow to trigger so our flow succeed and we'll just go to the emails and we got one email that is saying complete with docusign vendor contract and when we click on this review document it should open the document and we can digitally sign that document and put the today's date if i just say continue so it will just say uh, show me the required sign here and as well as it put the default date by this uh, current date but now as i said like the second part when as soon as i the uh, or a vendor like uh, sign this document i need to actually save this signed copy of this document into my one of the sharepoint library so for that we'll just close this for a while and again go back to our power automate and we'll create a new flow so this flow i'll just again start instant cloud flow and over here in the trigger i'll just say docusign and in this docusign i'll just click on this docusign one and over here so when an envelope status changes so this trigger we are going to pick and as soon as we pick like we have to uh, assign the account and then connection name so you can say like a vendor contract and envelope event so event is like when envelope is completed that means like as soon as uh, the person is signing the document it should be triggering this flow and in the next step i can simply get again like i'll choose the docusign as connector and over here i'll just uh, use the get envelope details over here get envelope document so that we can actually extract the signed document and save that as a file into sharepoint library so again like uh, the account my account envelope id we can pick that from the previous tab and certification completion so that's fine and in the next tab i can create a file into my document library or i can actually save this file as an attachment to the same uh, vendor contract list so for now i am just creating a new file that is much simpler and quick so i'll just pick one of my library that is vendor contract library and the file name i can actually pick that from a dynamic value so the file name i can pick that from email subject plus the vendor name or the recipient name sender who is actually signing the document and uh, then i have to append that pdf extension so that it can be saved in pdf or can be viewable directly in the file content from the dynamic value i have to uh, choose this file content which is from the previous step get envelope documents and it's done so i can name that as save signed documents and once saved our flow is ready to be tested and again now we'll just follow the same uh, link where review document and now we are going to sign that document add our signature 
and then wait for our flow to get completed and store the file into SharePoint library with sign one. So I'll just click on this. It picked up my digital signature. And as soon as when I say like finish, it will just complete that envelope and I'll just wait for our flow, which should trigger now. So our flow triggered and ran successfully. And if I just go inside and go to my vendor document library over here, so I can see like I have this signed document complete with DocuSign vendor. This was a subject and this was a sender's name. And if I click on this, now you can see like I have this digital signature captured and converted this into PDF file and saved into my document library. So we are good. We have achieved like whatever we intended to achieve. Like we created one envelope, sent that envelope to the recipient to sign. And once the signing is done, we are recapturing or like recreating our file into document library and storing that for future reference. So this is the end to end like uh, working with the DocuSign as a connector to digitally capture uh, the signatures, the other custom fields. So uh, I hope like uh, you may find this video useful or helpful for your use cases because I did actually find it useful and that is for today. Thank you. If you have any question, you can drop your comments. If you like the video, please press thumb button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.